Hello, this is George Cayley, and this is a demonstration of controlling Minecraft, the popular indie game, using the Razer Hydra motion sensing controller for the PC. Now, as you can see here, I'm holding the two Razer controllers in my hand, and I can actually move around using the joystick on the left controller, so forwards and backwards and strafing left and right, and I can change my view by rotating around the right controller and I can jump by flicking the left controller up like so and I can crouch by moving it down this is all done using key mapping in the software that Razer provides with the actual controller so it allows us to do things like this so we as you can see here on the controller it actually has on each of these a trigger and a bumper button. So if we press the trigger on the right controller when we're next to an object, we actually pick it up. And this is a very, very fun way to play Minecraft. It's really amazing to be walking around and it feels like you're actually interacting with the objects. So, punching trees. I, di I did actually experiment with trying to get a kind of a punching movement to activate punching trees but it quickly hurts your arm and that idea was scrapped almost immediately and so we can harvest objects in this way we can use the joystick on the right controller to actually move between the items in our inventory and then we can use the left trigger to place the items and we really don't need the keyboard for anything. We can even do crafting without the keyboard and mouse using the right bu bumper button. We can go into the crafting interface and pick up our wood and convert it into planks. It's a bit fiddly, but we can actually do crafting and by extension you can even... Hold on, we'll just make a, a workbench using the right trigger to deposit the blocks and we can actually make a crafting table and place it like that and you can interact with the game and build things in the normal way you would with a keyboard and mouse but in my opinion you've got even a, a greater range of control because these the controller is really really sensitive and very accurate so if you're building some mega structure and you need a really fine level of control over where you're placing the blocks, this would be the controller to get because it allows you to interact with Minecraft in a way that really isn't possible with just using a keyboard and mouse. So if you're interested in this, um, I've got more details about how you can get Minecraft to work with your controller on my website and I've also got links to the actual Minecraft site and the Razer site for more information about the Razer Hydra motion sensing controller. That's all from me and thanks for watching.